Now well, here's another view of that Vesta. Try to scoot over here up a little bit more. Looks like you can see for a good ways. So you can. Now this is what what we transversed already coming down. And that's what we got a transverse going down. Guys, this is almost vertical now. Uh, there's a stump here. I'm going to take advantage and take a seat on it. Uh, rest his knee. I'm sorry I'm not videotaping this as we're going down. As Iron Boots would say, as he's in wrist management. The wrist definitely exceeds any benefit of me doing that right now. I'm not hurting myself just to shoot a film and if I don't get hurt my camera gets hurt or both and I'm out of camera my wife's out of husband and she wouldn't be very happy and I wouldn't be very happy so I sort of like my wife and my daughter yeah I love my wife and daughter so so she knows it you know guys we take it granted sometimes of people that make sacrifices for the things we enjoy. Not all of us are single. Uh, may be married like myself, going on 16 years in June, uh, July, excuse me. And uh, we'll be married 15, together 16. Uh, and if it wasn't for my wife's and my daughter's sacrifices, I wouldn't be out here doing this. You know, the money I take from the paychecks or my income tax return or stuff like that to buy the gear I need to do this and the time away from them so you gotta take the time to thank your loved ones for I don't want to say letting you do this but giving you the blessing you know we're all macho men out here we don't want to say we gotta ask our wife's permission in the way we do and I don't mind it but that's a, that's part of marriages you know you gotta be able to talk to your loved one and work through things, you know. There's been times I thought our marriage was over. My wife will agree with that. But that's been a long time ago, fortunately. We worked through them. You know, I, I realized where my priorities was and who's the only one to control our destiny, and that's the man upstairs, you know. That's the reason I'm doing this now is I'm, I'll be 44 in June, and I'm hoping I got at least another 20 years I can hike like this. But we all know what's down the road. You know, what could happen to my job? I might not have the income to afford to do stuff like this. My health, something might happen unexpectedly. Uh, I ran to bomb us, who knows? Too many ifs out there, you know. And Like somebody commented on my one video my blog about why we do this. Yeah, life's too short. We shouldn't worry about what could happen. Just live today for today. But I still think in the back of my head, you know, there's a lot of stuff I want to do with me, my wife, my daughter, my friends, I'm not ready to leave this world. Nothing against the Lord, but I still enjoy it down here. So, and I enjoy all you guys out there watching my videos and look forward to the comments and being good and bad. So, well, guys, we're going to get going. I'm going to take my time some more and get down to the bottom. We should be at the bottom here maybe another 10 minutes or so. Don't want to be any quicker. So, all right, talk to you later. All right, guys, I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm trying to get this in the flame. Apologize. But right now, I am here. Uh, past 11 mile mark, just a little hair. Show you on the GPS here in a minute. But uh, I'm at the bottom of a little mini run. Got down to the bottom of that descent, and I got an ascent to do. It doesn't look as great great because the uh, contour lines aren't so close together but still it's going to be an ascent. I decided I'm just going to go ahead and stop here because my knee plus my feet are getting tired. I'm tired. I don't want to get halfway up that thing and find nowhere to set up camp and be just totally exhausted and not be able to set up camp. It's not safe. You know, I got to admit when I met my limitations for the day. And that's the thing. I saw a bunch of nice campsites. Should have probably just stopped at them and I wouldn't have been a relaxing nights up tent. You know, I'm going to have to sit here for probably 20, 30 minutes just to regain my composure before I can even set up camp because I'm plumb 
tough it out, to be honest. So, that means we're 11 miles there. That means we got nine more miles to go for tomorrow. So, by my GPS, so, we're at 12.3. We've been averaging about two miles, one an hour. It was greater than that, but thanks to uh, that hill we just did, different story. Wind started to pick up too, so. Uh, Tell you what, I'll stand up here. I'm just above it. Hoping I can get this in frame with all the sun glaring at, but I'm taking a stop, stop for a second and show you the switch back here. You know, I'm saying what a descent this is. Reminds me, what if I was coming the opposite way? This would be an ascent. I'd be climbing this. Now, this is the second time I've lucked out on this, not this actual loop, this QT trail, the Puana Trail. One was last year with me and Ron. We tamed down one of these, and we were commenting how luckily we were going down it, not going up it. There were some tough climbs, but nothing like coming down that one. So, thankful I'm coming down and not climbing up it, because it takes me all day just to get up this damn thing just about. So, well, we're making progress slowly but surely. Well, before my wife gets dizzy watching this video later, I better stop it. So, hey guys, back at you later. Sorry about that. Bump the button. I'm just above a person's camp. I don't want to put it in the frame. And, but I'm at the bottom of this ravine here. So this draw. So it set tents there if you wanted to over there where the gas well is. But uh, here's some shade at least. Uh, firing, but I won't be doing a fire. Uh, this time of year, you're not allowed to burn open fires from March 1st till I believe it's June 1st due to the threat of. Uh, wildfire so and I don't mind I brought my candle this time just because I knew that was gonna be the case and if I want to have some ambient light at night I can hang it from one of these branches and light it so well guys I'm gonna take a breather catch my breath uh, and uh, we'll get back to you after I get camp set up in that after a while I'm gonna take these boots off and let my feet air out and all that good stuff so stay tuned all right guys we're in my uh, my campsite set up. I'm not going to put the rain fly on tonight. It's not supposed to rain, so why put the aggravation through it? Get the ventilation through it. It's supposed to be down to, you know, around here probably in the upper 30s. Well, I was sleeping bad and I slept fine down to that the other day in that uh, tarp shelter from Werb. So went ahead and threw my uh, candle lantern up just in case I need some light. So I might light it. It'll stay on all night, but it's so close to the road. I don't really don't want to. People know where I'm at in case I'm drunch driving by, you know. Have my uh, bear rope hanging up there for my bear bags beside me right now because I'm going to start supper here in a little bit. Bam. And I showed you before my water source is right here. My camel back. Been through almost two camel backs today I drank. So that's two liters there. So I almost drank uh, four liters almost. Not including that I chugged up a couple times on that 32 ounce or so. But, uh, they got a fire pit, but like I said, you can't do anything this time of year because of the burn ordinance. So I'll just set my uh, alcohol stove up here to heat my supper, rinse it out before I go to bed, hang all my food up top, and in the morning I'll make my coffee, maybe grits, depends on what mood I'm in, uh, in the morning. Now I gotta do is decide what I'm gonna eat for supper tonight. Don't know if I want deer stew or Spanish rice. Everything I got causes a heartburn. The pasta is just too filling. I'm not in the mood for that. And just had chili last weekend, so I'm not in the mood for chili already again. So, but uh, all decisions, decisions. Oh, and what's real confusing? Look here. They went from the blue blaze to the yellow blaze. I'm for some oddball reason, but uh, oh. Just to throw a curve and confuse you, I suppose. So, we're supposed to be three miles from the main trail. So, that's a good sign. So, but, okay. Uh, maybe I'll see you once I got dinner started and before I go to bed, which ain't going to be long tonight. I am exhausted. So, guys, thanks for coming along with me on my journey today and tomorrow. And everyone, God bless. 
Sorry you missed it, but I lit it with a damn cigarette lighter. I wasn't messing around tonight. I am whooped. <laughs> Still took three flicks of the bed to get the uh, bite the fuel. 